everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we're gonna make some ugly Christmas sweater coasters. Now I did cut these out with my Dremel tool. I'm not gonna suggest that as being the best thing because I did end up setting off the smoke alarm just because it, it does smoke up, but I didn't want to go out in the garage because it's snowy and cold and bad. To make these coasters, I have a piece of wood that I bought at the craft store. You can buy wood at the hardware store, of course. And I have a template of what I want my sweater to be like. Um, it is cold and snowy out here, so I can't get to my saw in the garage because it's cold. So I'm going to try to cut it with my handy dandy Dremel tool and I have a cutting blade on there and I made the sleeves attached to the body instead of having them separate just because I think it might be hard for me to get that detail if I tried to do that. I'm going to trace a couple and then try to cut them out. So here it is, I just need to refine it, and yes, it would have been much quicker if I'd run out to the garage and braid the cold, but I wasn't gonna do that. So um, this certainly works in a pinch. It, it did take a lot longer though. There it is, and now a little sandpaper on the edges, and that'll do it. Now I'm just gonna paint them. One will be green, one will be red, because these are gonna be ugly Christmas sweaters. And they could just be ugly sweaters, they don't have to be holiday sweaters. Um, you could do Hanukkah ones, you could do just plain old ugly sweaters. Now we're going to accent them a little bit, and since they are a set, we're going to go with the red and the green. I'm going to give them a little trim on the edge here, and I'm going to take a skewer stick and give it almost like a little rib look that you would have at the end of a sleeve. Because this green paint doesn't want to work out quite as well as that red one did because it's thinner, I'm just taking a little bit of red on my skewer stick and running it through the green. And it's giving me a very similar effect. So now you have your sweaters, which are kind of cute as they are, but they need some ugly decorations on there. And I am going to do a snowman. And you can decoupage some image images on here. That would be cool. Um, but I'm going to paint them on, and I'm going to do a snowman and a Christmas tree, and we'll start with the snowman. And there's ugly Christmas sweater number one. So now I did the Christmas tree and I forgot to turn on the camera. So I'm gonna paint it right next to it so you can see how I painted it. And 
now we can let ugly Christmas sweater number two dry. And one last thing, if you want to give a little more definition to where the sleeve is, just take a little bit of the black paint and go in there and create a little bit of a shadowed effect. You don't want it to be thick. Now when they're dry, all you have to do is seal them. I'm going to use a satin Mod Podge. Um, you can use any kind of sealer that you are comfortable with, and then you'll be ready to use them at your holiday gathering or to give as gifts, because I think they would actually be really cute gifts. And I made these out of wood, but there's no reason that you couldn't make them out of cork like we did the Pilgrims. And there is no reason you can't get the kids involved in this because this, it would be really fun for them to decorate. Now we celebrate on Christmas Eve, but I know there's a lot of people that don't. Um, this would be really fun to do with the kids on Christmas Eve if you're looking for an activity that's kind of Christmas related too, if you're not celebrating on that day. Here are the ugly Christmas sweater coasters, all finished and I do have them sealed. I went with a satin Mod Podge. They're perfect to give as a gift or if you want to use them at your holiday gathering, they are absolutely perfect for that too. I think a lot of people would have fun with that. So be sure to let me know what you think of them in the comments below. So these are officially the last new craft of the year. Be sure to let me know what you think of them and if you have a favorite. Also remember to subscribe while you're here so you don't miss a thing because I'm going to have a whole new year coming up of new projects. I'm going to take the first week in January off because I'm going to be traveling for the holidays and then I'm going to get right back into it. I haven't done that since I started. So I'm going to take that little break and then I will be back. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll definitely see you next time in the new year. And remember, life is too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Holidays. Happy everything.